For all of Northern California, this is KOVR 13 News at Noon. The practice of fusing spine discs to relieve pain could soon become a thing of the past. Health editor Diana Penna has the story on a breakthrough that could radically alter the treatment for degenerative disc disease. You'd never tell by the ease in her step that 45-year-old Pat Gesford was almost incapacitated by back pain from a traffic accident. I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning. I couldn't uh, tie my shoes by myself. Facing either a life on painkillers or an irreversible spinal fusion, she opted for experimental technology, an artificial disc replacement called ProDisc. I think the beauty of this is that it restores range of motion, doesn't make you stiff like a fusion, uh, and it eliminates pain, and that's the bottom line. Made of chrome and a heavy-duty plastic, ProDisc can flex, extend, and move side to side. The theory is the more it moves like a real disc, the better, which is exactly opposite of disc fusion. Fusion immobilizes part of the spine. In some cases, this can lead to more stress. With an artificial disc replacement, which allows motion, uh, we uh, are able to delay or perhaps avoid degeneration above or below that uh, diseased disc level. Patients are home in two days, back to work in a few weeks. Pat is poised to head back to her job on the bomb squad of the Los Angeles Police Department. I don't have the pain in my leg anymore. Um, I'm virtually uh, almost pain free. Dr. Delamarto predicts that if these results continue, disc replacement could become the new gold standard of treatment for spinal disc disease. Diana Penick, OVR, 13 News. And critics want to see the long-term studies done in the United States. The pro-disc has done well in Europe, where total disc replacement has been performed for the last 10 years.